Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopDeckBoy.com with lesson number 21 on using your Raspberry Pi. Now in the last lesson, lesson number 20, I showed you how to back up the Pi. And if you haven't done so, you need to go back and look at lesson number 20 and you need to go in and back up your SD card because as, this, as these lessons have gone on, I've explained to you how easy it is to corrupt your SD card. And what I've shown you is, is that if you unplug the, if you unplug the card, while the Pi is powered, that will probably corrupt the card. Or if you take the power off the Pi without properly shutting down, that can corrupt the card. The other thing that can very easily happen is, is that once you go in and start pseudo nanoing things in the system file, you, if, if you kind of get a file goofed up a little bit, you can actually get it where you can't boot. Okay, If you spend a whole lot of time, you might figure out a way around it to sort of recover. But basically, you really need to keep your card backed up so that when you start editing system files, if you mess something up, you can just reload from the backup. The reason I'm saying that is in today's lesson, we're actually going to do kind of the first time that we go in and edit a system file. And so I want to make sure that you have a backup so in case something goes wrong, you'll be covered. What are we going to do today? Well, sort of before I went back <clears throat> and did the backup file, what we were doing is we were adding users. And we showed you how you could add a user, but the users that we were adding or the accounts that we were adding were part of the group users. And the group user on the Pi is sort of a group where you give somebody a folder, you give them a little room to play around, but you don't give them enough privileges to really mess anything up. And so what I'm going to show you today is to basically how to create an administrative user or more specifically a root user or more specifically kind of, kind of like really what I'm doing, I'm showing you how to create a user that would have all of the privileges that your existing Pi user has. Okay, What do we know about Pi? Well, Pi can do what he wants to in his folder. He can look around in other folders. If he tries to, if he tries to change a system file or do something big like that, he'll say permission, he'll get the error permission denied, but he has access to the sudo command, so he can sudo that command and then do anything. So basically Pi is really configured very nicely. You wouldn't accidentally change something and give you a warning, but if you really wanted to do it, you would sudo and then make sure you're right and then change things. So I know a lot of people, they write me and they say, well, how would I create that account? I don't want to be Pi. I want to be Joe or something. So we're going to show you how to create an account that has all the privileges of Pi, but with your, uh, but with your name on it. So let's get right into it. How are we going to do this? We're going to create a new user, and we're going to do that with, first of all, I've got to get this active, okay, sudo, and then we are going to add user, and who are we going to add? We're going to add me, Paul, okay? Enter the Unix pa password. I'm going to say cat. Retype the password, cat, okay? I, uh, I guess I will put in my full name. Okay, room number, we don't need that. I am not going to put my phone number here because you would call me at 3 in the morning asking me how to back up your card or something or that your system got corrupted. No, no 3 in the morning free phone consultation. So we're going to leave that off, leave that off, leave that off. Is this information correct? Yes. Okay, now if we go change directory dot dot and we go ls you can see now we have two users we put our users in the home folder slash home and you can see pi that was also there and you can see paul is the new one but notice that we just created him we didn't give him any privileges we didn't do anything at all to make him like pi so now we got to give a command that will make him like pi okay what we're going to do is sudo, okay, sudo, and then user mod, okay, sudo user mod, and then minus a, and then minus uppercase g. So what this is doing is we're appending groups to him. We want to add these groups to what he can do. The first one is adm. That sounds kind of like administrator. That's probably a good one. Dial out. I really don't know what that one does. I don't claim that I know what all these groups do, but what I claim is I'm going to make Paul just like Pi, okay? And then we're going to do a really, uh, we're going to do a dial out CD ROM, okay? CD ROM, ROM, 
CD-ROM, got it, comma, sudo, that's probably a big one, S-U-D-O, that's a big one, okay, and make sure you get that, comma, S-U-D-O, I'm sorry it broke the line right at the most important place, we're going to do audio, <coughs> we're going to do video, we are going to do plug, D-E-V, we are going to do games, we are going to do users, we are going to do net, D-E-V, we are going to do input, and then this one's a little strange, I-N-D, I-E-C-I-T-Y, okay? Now space, and who are we going to give these privileges to? P-A-U-L, okay, so notice, we put the minus G, large, uppercase, then space, all, a list of all these things with just commas, no spaces, then we end it a space, and then the user that you're going to give these privileges to, and then enter. Okay. I, ooh, I misspelled it. Oh, my. Okay. Let's do it again. I-N-D-I-E-D-I-C. Okay. I-N-D-I-E-C-I-T. What am I doing? This is getting confusing. I-N-D-I-E. C I T Y. So let me check that. I N D I E C I T Y. I think that's going to work. Okay, yes, it likes it. Okay, so I just gave him all the privileges that, uh, that uh, Pi has. So let's look and see what he could do. Let's go. Uh, look, first of all, we need to log in as him. So we're going to say log in. Okay. Log in, can't do that. I'm still pi, but now I've got to say sudo. I'm the user pi sudo login. Now, who am I going to log in as? I'm going to log in as Paul, username cat, I mean uh, password cat. Now I'm logged in. Now let's see where I am. PWD, where am I? I'm in the slash home slash Paul. Let me go see what's going on in the pi folder. Dot dot. So I want to change directory. Dot dot slash pi. I'm going to poke around in somebody else's folder that doesn't belong to me. I'm going to do an ls. Well, I can ls. I'm going to cause some mis mischief. I'm going to do an mkdir, and I'm going to put a folder in his folder that's called stink foot. <laughs> That'll get him. Ooh, make directory cannot create directory stink foot permission denied. Mm. But... Just like Pi, Paul has sudo, sudo, make directory stink foot. Let's see. Okay. Respect the privacy of others. Think before you type with great power comes. Yeah, all that stuff, but I'm going to do it. So what's the password? Cat. Okay. Boom. Now let's do an ls. Ha! I put stink foot in somebody else's folder because I could because I have access to sudo. So what this shows is I could also go in and, and, and do malicious things with the system and do malicious things with, uh, uh, with the operating system. So what you want to see is you want to be really careful about giving someone these privileges, but I'm just showing you if you want to give someone these privileges, this is the way that you can do it. We should probably do a sudo uh, rmdir and take the stink foot out of there. Okay, now one thing that you noticed on this that was different than earlier that when I tried to do that sudo command it let me do it but it made me put my password in. So that's different than the pi. On the pi you just do sudo. You don't have to put your password in every time. And so what we're, what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to make Paul where he is just like pi and that he doesn't have to put that in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is sudo and it is called V-I-S-U-D-O, sudo V-I-S-U-D-O. Okay, it doesn't ask me for the password this time because it remembers it from just a few minutes ago. Okay, now what you can see I'm doing is I am nanoing this slash ETC slash sudoers. These are people that can sudo, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrow down all the way to the bottom 
And then what I need to do is I need to make Paul just like that. Okay. And I'm even wondering if I can, uh, let's see. I don't know if I can copy and paste or not in this thing. Let's see if I can. I need to get off of that. Okay, let's see if I select all of that. I wonder if I rouse, right mouse clip. I got a copy, and then I can come here and I can pay, paste. That is really a mess. I'm going to control X out of here before I mess something up. Do I want to? I don't want to save those, so I'm going to say no. And I'm going to go back and sudo again. And then I'm going to come down again. I'm not going to get fancy with the copying and pasting. I'm going to say Paul. And then I'm going to say all. Equal. Open. you got to be really careful. Because you know when I was doing this earlier, I kind of messed this file up a little bit. And then this file wouldn't run. And then I couldn't boot the Pi. And so you really got to be careful and do this just right. Or that's what I was saying also. Uh, back your Pi up before you do something like this. Okay, so just like what this is saying is when you put this here like this, a user here like this that has pseudo access, it gives them access without having to put their password in. So let's check Paul all equals all no P A S S W D uh, semicolon all or it's at a colon. I don't know. Okay, so now we need to save it. So we're going to go control O, okay, enter. And now control X. Okay. So now we are still Paul. So now let's try to, we're still in the Pi directory. Let's do a sudo and make, make directory stink foot. Okay. And it let me do it. LS. There it is. Stink foot. Remove directory. I guess I got to do a sudo sudo uh, remove directory stink foot ls and it is gone. Okay, so now I have a user Paul that is exactly exactly like the user Pi. Okay, be careful when you do this because you can see that you give people administrative privileges to the whole system. They can do anything. So make sure you only do this with yourself or someone that you uh, that you completely trust. Okay, guys, uh, let's see. I'm actually going to go in and I am going to remove that user just so that we re we review how to do that. Uh, I'm going to remove. I'm going to uh, remove that user, and I would do that by doing sudo and then minus r and then paul and then i mean sudo you sudo user delete minus r paul and then that'll just blast uh, blast him out of there okay this has been lesson number 21. Thanks for tuning in. We're probably going to spend a little bit more time now talking about permissions. You can kind of see we're getting to the point of certain users have certain uh, permissions, and we need to talk a little bit about permissions before moving on. Okay, Paul McWhorter, toptechboy.com. We will talk to you guys later. Give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, share the video with someone else. Talk to you guys later.